Hello, hello, everybody can hear me. I am going live today on Friday. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds for people to jump on the call. And I'm super excited about this today. It's been about two weeks since I did a live video because I was traveling in Tijuana um, with clients for the bariatric surgery. Hey, Eric. Hey, Barbara, nice to see you. I'm super excited today though. Um, if you're here, let me know that you're here because it's much easier doing a live video when your community is here supporting you, right? So before I go with the topic for today's video, I want to let you know that when the video is finished, I'm attaching another free guide. This time it's Choosing Carbs Wisely. It's new. Hey, Kelly, thanks for waving at me. Yeah, it's really helpful when people log on and let you know that they're there when you're doing a video. I appreciate it. How to Choose Carbs Wisely. It's new and it explains the three macronutrients and explains the glycemic index. So why is it when you eat a potato or when you eat a, um, a piece of bread, why it skyrockets your blood sugar? Okay, so, oh, thanks, Barbara. I see you there. Okay, so um, it's going to explain the GI index, glycemic index, certain foods affect your blood sugar, how they affect foods that are high in the glycemic index to stay away from and foods that are lower on the glycemic index. Holly, hi. Okay. Super exciting. I have something to tell you guys. Listen to this. So have you gone to a restaurant after surgery and you can eat about this much and that's it? And you have to pay for a full dish? Look what I got here for you guys. You see these? These are weight loss surgery cards. Hey, Joan. Hey, Milena. Now, they're super pretty and they're super shiny and they're super important because what they are, they're plasticized but not like a credit card hard, so they're easier to slip in and out of your wallet, right? So, special menu requests. When you go to restaurants, you can hand them this card, and it says here on it, the person presenting this card has had bariatric surgery, which has reduced their stomach to three or four ounces. Please allow him or her to order a smaller portion or to make a selection from the children's menu. Ah, <sighs> yay. Backside, front side. So, not all restaurants will participate with this, but a lot of restaurants will. And so if they participate with this, you can let them, let us know here at the community um, so we can add them to the list of restaurants that participate. So if you'd like to get one of these cards, all you have to do is let me know on Messenger or just put me here in the comments. I will contact you and I will get your current address. And on Monday morning, I'm gonna ship them out. I have a whole stack of them here. So over the weekend, I'm going to be collecting addresses, and I'm going to be um, getting um, these out to you through the mail. So guess what? It could mean discounts for you. So, Okay, it's time for a challenge for this community. Hey, Cindy. So it's fall. The days are shorter. This is before um, Thanksgiving. It's before Christmas and all those Christmas parties. Let's jump on this together. It's five or ten pounds in the process. Let's be accountable. So. <clears throat> so, I don't know why I can hear my microphone going. Can, can you guys hear me okay? Thumbs up, everyone can hear me okay? All good? Okay. So today's topic is small changes equal can equal really big losses. I'm going to challenge you to take one or two of these ideas, make them yours for the next 14 days. Okay? So that means that by letting me know that you're part of the challenge, I'm gonna reach out to you and, and, and make sure that you stay accountable. So there's six ideas I'm gonna give you. And maybe one of those ideas are gonna to make total sense to you and you're gonna reach out to me here or on Messenger and tell me, this is the challenge I'm taking. So make me accountable. I'll reach out to you in 14 days and see how the scale looks. Okay, here we go. Sometimes it thinks it feels like um, for a bariatric client that you have the all or nothing mentality. And I'm here to tell you that you could make, hey Rochelle, Joel, you guys can make small changes to get the scale really moving again. You're gonna be really surprised how these small changes can really help. Joel, you've been on a big trip. I was watching your trip on Facebook. Hey Kevin, Amber, nice to see you. Eileen. So the first tweak that you put in, or let's say you can take out of your diet, um, I'm gonna talk about is it. really super obvious. And that tweak is eliminate sugar, soda, candy, alcohol, boo, get them out of your diet. Two weeks, guys, it's only for two weeks. If you're wanting to see the scale, the numbers on the scale move, 
then try this. Message me, tell me, I'm taking your challenge, Sherry. I wanna see the numbers on the scale move. Nels, nice to see you joining in. Okay, that's the first one. Eliminate sugar, soda, alcohol. Okay, number two. Now, I know nobody eats at McDonald's, right? I know that nobody goes to Starbucks, right? Then why is it everyone has those big old mocha frappuccinos on Facebook? I wanna know. I'm gonna challenge you, instead of visiting Starbucks for that tall cafe, mocha cappuccino, whatever you're drinking, make it at home or eliminate it. Two weeks, there's a ton of sugar in the Starbucks. Okay, maybe your Starbucks might be Dunkin' Donuts, or it could be Tim Hortons, it could be one of those versions, right? I want you to just get that out of your diet for two weeks, right? If you want a version of, um, of this sugar-free um, mocha lap cappuccino, then email me. I have tons of them. I can give you tons of recipes. You can use them at home. You'll see the scale move. So that's easy enough. Hey, Casey, thanks for joining in. Okay, the third thing you can do. You can do all of these things, but you can take just one or two of them. Third one, make your breakfast high in protein, low in refined carbohydrates. So typical breakfast foods like English muffins, bagels, cereal, toast, Boo, out of your diet. Exchange them because they're notoriously high for oatmeal. Out, they're notoriously high in refined processed carbohydrates. Instead of these foods, reach for eggs or have a smoothie bowl. Ask me for a recipe. Eggs are gonna keep you feeling full. It's gonna keep you feeling satisfied. And if you eat them with a serving of high, fi high fiber vegetables, then even better. Okay, awesome. So number four, guys, who drinks diet soft drinks? Diet soft drinks out there? If you have a question here, hit me up. This is what this is all about, right? Don't be shy. I'm really happy you guys are here though. So diet soft drinks don't have calories, right? But they create an insulin response, which means that you feel hungry after drinking them. Our goal is going to be to balance our blood sugars. So if our blood, blood sugars crash, and then we're gonna be feeling starving, hungry afterwards. Swap the Diet Coke for plain water. I'm sorry, it's two weeks, that's all. You, 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 okay, Amber, you got it. I'm gonna send you your restaurant card. Okay, I already have your address, so I'll send it directly to your address at home. I'm gonna send it on Monday, you should have it by Friday, deal. Okay, um, so just drink water for two weeks. Water or soda water, okay? None of this um, um, Diet Coke and diet drinks. Hey, Corey, hey, Mary. So, number five, okay. Oh, guys, you know what, I'm just gonna say it. Just go for a walk. 20 minutes, open the door, walk out 20 minutes, turn around, walk back. Do that for two weeks, tell me, Sherry, I'm taking the challenge. I'm gonna walk 20 minutes in one direction, 20 minutes in the other direction. I'm gonna do 14 days, and I'm gonna make sure to see if your number's moved on the scale. I think you're gonna be really surprised. It's great for weight loss, it's great for your head, it's great to lift depression, it's great for our health, right? Love yourself, get outside, go for a walk. Me, who wants a restaurant card, Crystal, Nothing, all you have to do to get the restaurant card, I have lots of them to send out. I can't wait to send these guys, these to you guys. All you have to do is tell me your address on Messenger and I'm gonna stick one of these in the mail and send it to your address on Monday morning. Oh, the rest, what's it for, Mary? Discounts, discounts. These here, tell people your, your challenge, way to go. I see the challenge now, I'm bon like Kent. Okay. Uh, tell the restaurant, look, I've had a surgery, hand this to them, they'll read it, they'll go to their manager, and the manager will either say yes or no, right? But it's competition, the restaurants want you as a client. And so you might be surprised, you're gonna get discounts with these. Okay, the last one that I was gonna talk about for today, challenge on, get serious about your sleep schedule. Guys, Netflix, turn off the Netflix. I'm so guilty of this. Sleep is the best free medicine in the world. Weight loss is always gonna be hindered by lack of sleep. Lack of sleep is stressful for your body and then it raises your cortisol levels. High cortisol levels means it makes it way more difficult to lose weight. Choose a bedtime, turn off the light, get some good quality sleep, it's gonna show up on the scalp. Good? Okay, video's almost finished. You're welcome, Crystal. Okay, don't forget to download the new free How to Choose Carbs Wisely. I'm gonna put the link here, you can click on it, it's gonna teach you about the glycemic index, what kind of chart carbs to choose, and what kind of carbs to stay away from. Okay, so if you want to email me or text me on Messenger, let me know what you're gonna take on this challenge. What are you choosing? I'm gonna make sure that you stay accountable, 
right? Make a little, our little private one-on-one -on -one accountability group. We're just going to check and see if you're doing, you're cutting out the sugar, or that you're taking a daily walk, or that you're um, increasing your sleep hours, really important. Um, anyways, I'm here for you. I'm your biggest, you just cheerleader. I'm always going to cheer you on. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a super nice Friday. And I'll be back here again next Friday with more cool information. Thanks so much for tuning in. And thanks for watching me. Bye for now.